Did you know that unexplained weight loss could be a sign of liver damage? The liver, that unsung hero of our bodies, tirelessly performs myriad tasks such as detoxifying harmful substances, metabolizing nutrients and regulating hormones. While most of us are familiar with common symptoms of liver damage like jaundice and fatigue, there are several less obvious signs that might indicate a problem. First on our list is a peculiar bitter or even metallic taste in the mouth. This can be a sign of toxins building up in your body as a result of liver damage. Our liver is essentially our body's waste management system, and when it doesn't function properly, waste can accumulate and affect our taste buds. So, if your morning coffee suddenly starts tasting more like a rusty pipe than a rich roast, it could be your body's way of signaling a liver issue. Next, let's talk about weight. We often celebrate weight loss but if you're shedding pounds without making any significant changes in your diet or exercise regime, it might be cause for concern. The liver plays a crucial role in metabolizing fats and when it's damaged it can lead to malnutrition and consequently unexplained weight loss. Another unusual sign of liver damage is easy bruising. The liver produces proteins that help our blood clot. If it's not functioning at its best, it may not produce enough of these proteins leading to easy bruising. So, if you find yourself sporting a new bruise every other day without any significant bumps or falls, your liver might be trying to tell you something. Moreover, if you notice swelling in your legs and ankles, or if your stools have taken on a dark or clay-colored hue, it's time to pay attention. These are signs of fluid buildup and bile production issues respectively, both of which can be indicative of liver damage. Remember, a sudden change in taste could be your body's way of telling you something's not right with your liver. It's essential to consult with your healthcare provider if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. After all, your liver works hard to keep you healthy. It's only right that you do your part to keep it in good shape. Unexplained weight loss is often celebrated, but did you know it could be a sign of something more serious? The liver, you see, is a true workhorse in our bodies. It plays a crucial role in many of our body's functions, one of which is metabolism. When you eat, your body breaks down the food into various nutrients and sends them to the liver. Here these nutrients are either stored for later use or turned into energy. When we talk about metabolism, we're largely referring to this process, how your body uses the food you eat for energy. Now let's bring fats into the picture. You might have heard about good fats and bad fats but regardless of the type, all fats need to be broken down in your body for use. And who's the star player in this process, you guessed it, our hard-working liver. But what happens when the liver is damaged? Unfortunately when the liver isn't functioning properly, it struggles with metabolizing fats. This can lead to malnutrition, even if you're eating a balanced diet. With malnutrition comes weight loss, and not the healthy kind. This is the kind of weight loss that you didn't plan for, the kind that you didn't work for, the kind that just happens. In addition to this, a damaged liver might not be able to remove toxins from your body as efficiently as it should. These toxins can then interfere with your metabolism, leading to further weight loss. It's a vicious cycle and one that's not often talked about when we discuss weight loss. So if you're losing weight without trying, it might be time to talk to your doctor about your liver health. It's not about spreading fear, but about spreading awareness. Many liver diseases can be managed or even reversed if caught early. So let's pay attention to these unusual signs, let's listen to our bodies, and let's keep our livers healthy. So if you're losing weight without trying, it might be time to talk to your doctor about your liver health. Do you bruise easily? It might not be because you're clumsy. Let's delve into the science of bruising and how it's tied to your liver's health. Bruises are small patches of discoloration on your skin that occur when tiny blood vessels, or capillaries, are damaged beneath the surface. This usually happens when you bump into something or when something bumps into you. Now you might be wondering, what does my liver have to do with this? Well, your liver plays a key role in the way your blood clots. When functioning optimally, your liver produces proteins called clotting factors. These clotting factors work to prevent excessive bleeding by helping your blood to clot quickly and efficiently after an injury. However, when your liver is damaged, it may not produce enough of these clotting factors. This means your blood may not clot as quickly as it should, leading to easy bruising. So, the simple act of bumping your knee against the coffee table might leave you with a noticeable bruise. It's also worth noting that liver damage can lead to a decrease in platelets, which are blood cells that help in the clotting process. So, a low platelet count can further contribute to easy bruising, but remember, easy bruising doesn't automatically mean you have liver damage. Certain medications, aging and even genetics can also make you more susceptible to bruising. 
However, if you notice a sudden increase in bruises, especially if they're large or occur without any known cause, it's worth discussing with your healthcare provider. Detecting liver damage early is crucial because it gives you the best chance at reversing or slowing down the damage. Your liver is a resilient organ that has the ability to regenerate and heal itself to some extent. Therefore, early detection of issues can make a significant difference in your health journey. So, if you've noticed more bruises on your body, your liver could be trying to get your attention. Are your legs or ankles swollen? Have you noticed a change in the color of your stool? Let's talk about swelling, specifically in the legs and ankles, a condition known as edema. This can be a sign of liver damage. You see, the liver is an all-star player when it comes to regulating your body's fluid balance. When it's not performing at its best, you might start to notice that your legs and ankles are retaining more fluid than they should. This swelling is often painless, but it can make movement more difficult and can be a cause for concern. But how does this fluid buildup actually happen? Well, when your liver is damaged, it can struggle to produce enough proteins that help keep fluid in your blood vessels. When these protein levels drop, fluid can leak out of your blood vessels and pool in your tissues, leading to that swelling you might notice in your legs and ankles. Now let's shift gears and talk about something a bit less glamorous but equally important, your stool. If you've noticed a change in the color of your stool, specifically if it's become dark or clay-colored, this could also be a sign of liver damage. Your liver produces bile, a yellowish-green fluid that helps digest fats and gives stool its typical brown color. When your liver is damaged, it may not produce enough bile, or the bile may not make it to your intestines. This can result in stool that is much lighter or darker than normal. It's not exactly dinner table conversation but keeping an eye on these two things, the swelling in your legs and ankles and the color of your stool, can give you important clues about your liver health. Remember, these symptoms might seem unrelated, but they could be pointing to an issue with your liver. If you notice any of these signs, it's important to get in touch with your healthcare provider. They can help determine if these symptoms are indeed signs of liver damage and guide you on the best course of action. These signs might seem unrelated, but they could be pointing to an issue with your liver. Now that you're aware of these unusual signs of liver damage, what can you do to keep your liver healthy? Well, there's a lot you can do, actually. Your lifestyle choices can play a significant role in maintaining the health of your liver. Let's dive into some of the things that you can do. Firstly, diet is key. Consuming a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins can help maintain liver health. These foods provide the necessary nutrients that your liver needs to function optimally. They also help in reducing the risk of obesity, a condition that can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Next up, hydration. Drinking plenty of water helps your liver in its detoxification process. It aids in flushing out the toxins from your body, ensuring your liver doesn't have to work overtime. Regular exercise is another crucial factor. Engaging in physical activity helps to burn triglycerides for fuel and can also reduce liver fat. It's a win-win situation. You get to stay fit and your liver gets to stay healthy. Now let's talk about things you should avoid. Excessive alcohol consumption can be damaging to your liver. It can lead to a variety of disorders, including alcoholic hepatitis and alcoholic cirrhosis. If you drink, do so in moderation, and if you don't, it's best not to start. Practicing safe sex and getting vaccinated against hepatitis can also protect your liver from viral infections that can cause severe damage. Avoiding exposure to harmful chemicals is equally important. Certain chemicals can lead to liver damage. Using safety precautions when using heavy-duty cleaners and aerosols and ensuring proper ventilation when dealing with such substances can go a long way in protecting your liver. Remember, your liver is a resilient organ. With early detection and the right care, you can prevent or slow down liver damage. So take care of your liver, and it will take care of you.